problem 9.3-2. Determine the maximum deflection in the beam. Modulus of elasticity is 29 times 10 to the third KSI, and the moment of inertia is 325 inches to the fourth power. Here's the beam. It's simply supported with a pin at one end, a roller at the other, and there's a point load being applied as shown. It's off center a bit. This point, many students will think, well, this is not stable because the beam will lift off the roller with this point load. But keep in mind that this roller is simply a symbol that represents that the beam is restrained from deflection in the vertical direction. And that counts for both deflection both up and down. We will assume that the beam will be held in place by this roller in the vertical direction. To solve this problem, we are going to use the deflection tables to get an equation for de deflection from this load. Here's a deflection table I found on the internet. The second row shows a beam that looks a lot like ours, except uh, in our problem, the point load is acting upward vertically. Not a big deal. We can still use these equations on this, on this row. Simply change the sign from a positive p to a negative p when we apply it in the equation. Now we are asked to find the maximum deflection in the beam. And typically it's this column of equations that give the maximum deflection. But notice for this beam that uh, the equation here is simply the equation for deflection when x equals a. So that's at the, that's at the beam right below the point load. But that is not going to be our point of maximum deflection. In fact, it turns out our point of maximum deflection is going to be a little bit to the left of that point load. So we're, we can't use this equation here. Instead, we're going to use the elastic curve equation. Notice this elastic curve equation is, uh, is only valid for x is greater than 0 and less than or equal to a. That's OK, because our point of maximum deflection is somewhere uh, in that range. So I've written the equation for the elastic curve for our problem. You can see it's in terms of x, and this, this equation is good for x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to a, and I've labeled the variables a and b on, this, uh, on, my, on my diagram. So p we're going to take as negative 100 kips. We're going to take the negative sign on there because it's opposite the direction of the arrow in the deflection table. And you can see this, the two negative signs will cancel out and we'll get a positive deflection, which is what we'd expect, positive being upwards. b is this dimension here. It's 4 feet, and we'll convert that to inches so that our deflection will come out in units of inches. And uh, our length is the total length of the beam, a plus b, which is 12 feet or in other words, 144 inches. Now we're trying to find the maximum deflection in the beam. And this equation gives us the deflection anywhere uh, along A. And we know the maximum deflection is going to be somewhere between the left end and the point load. But we don't know exactly where. So the way we're going to find it is we're going to take the elastic curve equation, and we're going to take the, uh, the derivative of it to get the slope. We'll set it equal to 0 and uh, solve for x. That'll tell us where the slope is 0. That will be where we have our local maximum, which will be our maximum deflection in the beam. Gone ahead and plugged in my values for p, b, and l into the elastic curve equation. And I did this just to make the calculus a little bit easier. And then I'll simplify it to this point. And now I've got just a relatively simple equation for deflection for this beam shown uh, in terms of x. And now if I take the derivative of it, I'll get the slope. So now I've taken the derivative of the elastic curve equation. I've got the slope now. I'm going to set it equal to 0 and solve for x. Now solving for x, I get a value of x is equal to 78.385 inches. What that means is that if we come over a distance of x equals to 78.385, uh, will be at our point of maximum deflection. That's where our slope goes to zero. So to calculate what that deflection is going to be, the value of our deflection, I'll take this value of x, I'll plug it back into this equation here, which is our elastic curve equation, and evaluate it. And plugging in a value of x equal to 78.385 inches, we get that our maximum deflection is going to be equal to 0 0.568 inches. And that's positive because our deflection will be upward. And we're done.